Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. So let's get started. Today I'm making red curry chicken with acorn squash. So well, let's uh, review the ingredients here. I have some chicken thigh meat, mince, garlic, frozen lime juice, a piece of uh, palm sugar. And palm sugar usually comes in a big round like this. And I just cut a knob off. If you don't have palm sugar, you can substitute with regular sugar. Have a tomato, half a yellow onion. This is a kaffir lime leaves, and this is a double leaves, and this will give the curry a nice uh, citrus uh, flavor. I have an acorn squash, fish sauce. I'm using a three crab brand, coconut milk, and this is the red curry. I'm using the my ploy brand, and water. And for the prep, uh, let's start with cutting the acorn squash. Cut it in half. And we'll remove the seeds. And we'll cut it into like um, one and a half inch chunks. You cut off the stem. And once the acorn squash is uh, cooked, the skin is edible. It becomes very tender. Okay, that's done. Next, let's cut the tomatoes. Just cut it into large chunks. In half, and then another half. And we'll also cube the onion. Cut it half horizontally and into large one inch pieces. Okay, next let's uh, cut the chicken. We'll cut it into the same size as the acorn squash. So into like one, one inch cubes. And the garlic has already been minced, so now all the prep is done. Uh, let's start cooking. Okay, I have my pan set at a medium heat. I'm adding half the can of coconut milk. Give it a good stir before you use it. Add the red curry paste. And depending on how spicy you like it, you can add more or less. And give this a mix. You want the curry paste to blend in with the coconut milk. And just let this cook for about a minute. Okay, once it's well blended and some of the oil has come up to the top, add the chicken. You can add the garlic. The onion and tomato. And mix this for about a minute. And once the curry starts bubbling up, we'll add the rest of the coconut milk. And the water. I've turned up the heat to a medium-high 
and let the mixture come up to a boil. And once it starts bubbling up, we'll add the acorn squash. Give this a good mix. And we can add the kaffir leaves, the lime juice, and the palm sugar, along with a little bit of fish sauce. Let this come up to a boil. And once it's come back up to a boil, turn it back down to medium, cover it, and let it simmer for about um, 20 to 25 minutes. And we'll be back to check on it. Okay, 20 minutes has elapsed. Let's check on the curry. Ooh, that looks really good. We turn down the heat to low, and the acorn squash is ready. You can easily break it apart. Mmm, smells really wonderful in here. Let's give it a try. The longer you cook curry, the thicker it's gonna get. Mmm, that's really good. So this is ready. Turn off the heat. Let's serve it. This smells so good. And here we have a super delicious bowl of red curry chicken with acorn squash. The curry is spicy and sweet with a creaminess from the coconut milk. It also has a wonderful citrus flavor and aroma from the kaffir leaves. And with the acorn squash, you can eat it skin and all. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if Shadow likes it. Ooh, yummy, she likes chicken. No worries guys, she's not eating spicy chicken. Thank you for watching everyone. Until next time, eat well and be healthy. Good girl.